You may be thinking, a shark with the ability to walk? That doesn't sound possible. Sharks live in the water, they have fins, not legs, and they can't breathe air. However, you'll be surprised that despite not having legs, like the shark in this picture, and not being able to breathe out of water, this little shark has found a way. But before I tell you how, first let's get to know the epaulette shark. Epaulette sharks are small, only about a meter long, and have a slender body. They are generally a pale, brown, or yellow color and are covered in spots. There are nine species of epaulette sharks, and each one has a large black spot with a white outline on each side of their body that sits right behind the pectoral fins. They also have a short rounded snout with barbels that they use to hunt. The epaulette shark is commonly found on the shallow reefs off the coast of northern Australia and New Guinea. They typically do not swim deeper than 40 meters. Their preference is for shallow tidal areas of the reef. This is where they forage. The epaulette shark will stay hidden from predators until low tide. Once the tide has gone out and it is no longer deep enough for the predators, this is when they will start to forage in the reef flats. Using suction feeding, they swim around looking for crustaceans such as crabs and shrimps. They also eat tiny fish and polychaete worms. These tidal pools can be warm and very shallow, which puts the shark at risk of drying out. But this little shark will amaze you because it is able to endure these conditions due to special physiological adaptations. What are these adaptations you ask? Well, epaulette sharks have the ability to walk. Yes, you heard me right, they have the ability to walk, both along the sea floor and across land for short distances. They can do this using their modified pectoral and pelvic fins. Their fins have reduced cartilage and more musculature, allowing them to have a wider range of motion than most other sharks. They move their fins to walk in a very similar way to how lizards walk on land, by swinging their bodies back and forth. Because they are walking from tidal pool to tidal pool, they put themselves at risk of getting stranded out of water. In order to cope with this, they are able to survive for up to an hour with very little oxygen while enduring high temperatures by slowing down their breathing, heart rate, and even shutting off parts of their brain. I'd say that's an awesome adaptation. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this about marine species, visit our page.